There was once a lonely lungfish who lived in a river. In the river, there were hundreds of other fish of all kinds of species, yet the lungfish didn't have a single friend. Oddly enough, there weren't any other lungfish in the river. There were plenty of fishes, but there was only one lungfish. Salmon would pass by, a bunch of them, and they would just swim right past, paying him no attention. They were probably going to jump the waterfall that was upstream. When he went up, a pair of beavers would continue gathering twigs, gathering mud, and gathering rocks, ignoring the lungfish. He even saw a pair of lilies floating together. The lungfish was different from all the other fish. And because of this, it was hard for him to make friends. All he did was dig holes, something all the other fish didn't do. And because of this, they left him alone. One day, a rough storm came across the river. The storm was so violent that all the fishes had to protect themselves from the harsh winds and the heavy waves. The lungfish saw the storm and knew he had to protect himself too. He dove down to the bottom of the river and did what he did best. He dug a hole. His hole was big enough that he could fit inside, a perfect place to hide from the storm. As he finished preparing the hole, his skin started forming a layer of mucus. After a while, the mucus dried up, forming a protective shell that covered the lungfish. After the storm, the drought came. Inside his cozy hole, the lungfish thought about all the other fish, if they were safe like he was. He remembered how the other fishes didn't mind him, how they gave odd looks while he was digging holes. He felt lonely. He realized that he didn't know any of the other fish, and they didn't know him. He truly felt alone in his hole for the whole year. Then one day, rain poured in and brought back the river that the lungfish was in. When the water of the river had returned, the lungfish sprung out of its long slumber. He slowly crawled out of his hole, looking around for any sign of the other fish. After realizing that the other fish weren't nearby, he decided to go downstream to look for them. A few minutes after going downstream, he finds some other fish, fish that he've never met before, fish like him. He was overjoyed when he saw the other longfish, and he finally found where he belonged.